Hello everybody, uh, it's the 23rd of February 2021, uh, it was a bit of a red day or red night, uh, big crypto scare, a lot, uh, first big correction uh, of this pool trend, or crash, depending how you view it, um, we'll see of course, I just wanted to give a quick update on uh, my views on it, uh, first of all this is not investment advice, this is my personal opinion. And as you can see, the crypto markets are very volatile. Please never invest more than you can afford to lose. Um, well, just uh, let me give you an overview. Um, yesterday, uh, the Bitcoin market stopped a bit, or a bit, quite a bit, at uh, let's say 85,000 US dollars. And then we ranged, everything was fine until um, yesterday, the, the February 22nd. Um, we crashed from 65,000 to, well, actually below $50,000. Um, and we spiked back up, which gave a lot of people and me as well quite some confidence actually that this, this correction was bought up so quickly. Uh, I actually tweeted about that as well. Um, so uh, I moved, yeah, moved back in after the correction. So yeah, I was pretty happy with it. <laughs> and then uh, I went to bed. And then it crashed down way more. Um, so when I woke up quite early because of the kids, actually, uh, I um, I quickly moved to 95% US dollars uh, and protected quite of quite a bit of the loss. Um, and now it's a bit, well, just a bit unsure where we're going. Uh, the markets are, are ranging now. Again, um, we had a huge dip for many alts. Many altcoins went minus 30 minus 25 even bigger so it's a bit uncertain i'm not too sure i got back in in a few steps um so as you can see on the tweet i tried to share everything here there's also a, tweet, a link here about my views on this why did i move out of the markets um basically to protect gains uh we're still up 5 60 percent for the year uh, at that time of the tweet uh and e over 100 percent for the month I didn't want to risk everything. Uh, there's a big chance we're moving down a lot, and we did actually. So yeah, uh, it's, it was the right move, I think. Um, so, but now I'm moving slowly back in. I'm buying the blood, as they say. I did that in a few steps. So first, I um, I, I bought back 15% for Terra Luna because I thought the project looked very strong. It, it does actually. So yeah, I'm just very bullish on Luna Terra money. Um, so we're slowly starting, starting to buy back in uh, and then again here uh, about one hour ago um, bought, bought with 50% and then again I bought back and now I have 30% US dollars at this point so I can show you uh, I can actually show you the, the rebalance at the times so here um, I rebalance to 95% uh, tether as you can see the green line here that's my fund let me sh disable bitcoin for a second the green line is uh, is the performance of my fund we had a big correction so i saw this and i was like well we're going down very fast Let, let's just get out i saw bitcoin going down uh, and then we of course <laughs> as soon as you move out the market just ranges a bit um and at this point uh i bought some terra actually again and then we got a big move down um and i start started buying the dip these these blue lines here you can see here i bought 10 percent back in and this one let me try to find it here i went uh, it's, it's the same one actually uh here i bought 50 percent back in so it's, it's pretty good at, at during this peak down i went back in for 50 percent and during this time now it's it bought the 30 percent back in so uh, all in all, it's pretty good, I think, because if you compare it to other strategies who didn't have such active management, uh, let me see on the top, um, for instance, uh, Chris Crypto Core did very well, but he already had, was ahead for me and he has more Bitcoin. So he, he did quite well, this correction. Um, and the other funds did basically the same. I'm, I'm doing a little better, as you can see, a 12 minus 12, minus 13, 15, 20 here, DeFi Core. But I have a 30% dollar position right now so that should be taken into account i saved some funds i secured some gains basically 
and I should we move down more, I have that 30% to move back in. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the, with the defensive move we did. Uh, for now, this is still crypto. Um, we could move down a lot more. I, I don't know. Nobody knows. Please don't trust anybody who claims to know. What I do know is that in the past, this was the bull market of 2017. Uh, this bull market had, depending where you start counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven corrections of, well, you can see them here, minus 35, minus 40, minus 40. So the past bull market uh, had a lot of corrections that are very big, which is so, in this case, it's pretty normal for crypto to have these huge runs up and then a big crash down. And you, uh, it will consolidate a bit and then it will have another huge run up. Hopefully, if the bull market didn't end. Uh, here you see a chart of it as well with all the declines. So how long the corrections lasted. Uh, like, well, in the past bull market, it, it recovered quite quickly and now it didn't. Um, so yeah, but this is, of course, 2013 and this is 2017. So a lot of the corrections lasted longer. Three days, 16, 35. So let's give it a few weeks. Let's see what happens. And I'm prepared for another move down. I don't know. Nobody knows. So let's see, but it's uh, it's a good sign that we had a nice move back up on good volume We're ranging a bit at this level. I, I'm hopeful we, we keep like above 46,000 between 50 and 46 that would be very good to have a calm market a bit and recover a bit uh, We'll see uh, Thank you for following Karasar. Uh, please uh, Keep up to date with me and I hope to do my best Let's see where we go. Uh, I'm pretty happy to see we're still up over 100% this month and 550% this year. So let's continue the market. Thank you very much.